Daisy Demirak works for the World Bank in Ethiopia, where she is responsible for the technical team of monitoring and evaluating the country's productive safety net program. This program aims to enable rural poor facing chronic food insecurity to become food self-sufficient. She is part of the GPAC cohort that started in 2018. And today, she is sharing some thoughts on the GPAC program with us. So, why did you sign up for the GPAC program? Uh, I signed up for the program because I have always been interested in doing my PhD. After working for a number of years, I felt that it was, and having a family, I needed a program that would allow me to pursue doing my PhD while allowing me to also pursue my career and not interrupting either in any way. GPAC was the, the program that seemed to fit the most. Have the education and research methods benefited your work? And if so, how? Yes, absolutely, they have. So I would say, for example, because I'm focused on social protection, having a bit more of the theoretical foundation of where social protection comes from and what are some of the linkages towards like economic growth and things like that. And then I think more so what has what I've benefited from is the quantitative, is the econometrics aspects of it. It's really great to get this sort of intensive course where you can apply it to your day-to-day -day work and the teaching here is very good. What's your research proposal about? So I'm interested in looking at the role of safety nets on um, migration in households and how that affects the intra-household dynamics. What do you enjoy most about the GPEC program? I would say the social interaction is really nice. It's nice to meet people who are in different backgrounds and also kind of on the same journey. Do you have any tips for those who would also like to pursue a PhD next to their job? It is a second career. It is really like um, trying to find the space and the time within your regular life. And that's it's a challenge, but uh, the tip would be to get everybody on board early on so that people quite understand and then you have a very and also self-discipline to say you know that I'm going to now work on this instead of letting everything else interfere because it's quite easy when you're away from the campus and I have also managed to try to integrate my research topic into the work that I'm doing and I would say that that was probably the biggest advantage is that you know you can also be pragmatic about what you can do and if it's related to your work then it makes it far more easier and interesting to pursue it and and to work on it and then it's also yeah, also makes it interesting for my team, I guess.